Hi there. My tomato plants have been producing pretty well, especially the, the cherry sized tomatoes. The larger types, the like slicers and um, paste type tomatoes have been producing or uh, getting some tomatoes on them. Most of them have been staying kind of green. I have gotten a few and I have made uh, a little bit of sauce already, but I had not done any pruning of any significance for the past several weeks and I was getting a tomato jungle. So today I am working on pruning them up, um, cutting off quite a few leaves. It might look a little dramatic, but uh, everything I've read, well, I shouldn't say everything, a lot of people that I've seen have said that that actually can really help your plants to be healthier. They don't need that many leaves. So I'm hoping this will help with airflow, especially as we're now at the very beginning of August and it's the really kind of humid, sweaty, um, hot, but also starting to get some rain again type time of the year. I think the plants are going to benefit more from the airflow than having those leaves. So in the process, I did have, uh, I'm going to have, and I've already had at least one situation where a big branch has come off of a tomato plant because it had several tomatoes on it that were very green, um, had not started to turn at all. So I'm going to try an experiment. Let me show you. So what I've done is in a part of my garden that uh, currently doesn't have anything, I have taken the stem that came off, big branch. I have cleared away any leaves um, from probably, it was probably about mm, this much of the stem and I've buried it here in this garden bed. And I've taken off any leaves that would be close to the bottom. I've trimmed back um, any of the little branchlets uh, and I've checked some of them had insect eggs on them. So I've tried to get all of those off and I'm just gonna see. Lots of people I've seen in my gardening groups um, on Facebook and other social media have talked about if you have a plant, the tomato plant, they are so good at growing roots on their stem that you can just take off pieces uh, and when you're pruning, stick them in the dirt, and a lot of times they'll grow roots. So my goal here is not really to necessarily get another tomato plant. My goal is to try to get these tomatoes that look pretty good to a point where at least they're starting to turn color so that um, I can eat these tomatoes. So that is my hope and goal. This is my experiment today. Let me show you what the plants are looking like so far with my pruning. So you can see here, this is so far the big pile of uh, branches that I have taken off. I think I see another tomato in there. I'll have to look and see if that looks like a stem big enough to try this experiment with. And then you can see here, I've got a couple of the tomato plants that I've already uh, pruned up you can there is it, it it was looking like this basically tomato jungle these now have much more airflow you can see there's lots of tomatoes on them so I'm really hopeful to still get a really good harvest this one I've gone ahead and um, helped tie it up here and here there's probably still some leaves that I could take off but I didn't want to get too severe. I still have a little bit here probably that could be uh, trimmed up. That I'm basically looking for uh, branches that look kind of like this. They look sickly, um, dried out, crinkly, crunchy. Those are just coming off. There's no blossoms there. There's nothing that's gonna come off of there as a, a, a fruit. So I just don't think they need those branches, especially if they don't look good. I want to prevent getting any kind of um, like fungal diseases starting to go through the tomato plants. So that's another thing that taking off those branchlets and leaves should hopefully help with. So I've got this part done. I'm going to work next on this part of the jungle and um, get these plants into a much healthier, happy, hopey, hopefully state. I thought I'd give you a quick peek of how they turned out. So we'll see. This is sort of an experiment. Hopefully this helps them and doesn't kill them. Um, but you can see everybody now has lots of air flow space around them. I've got things 
um, tied up everywhere I can. I've tried to stabilize some of the uh, posts and hopefully I'll at least get everything that is currently on the vines to ripen um, and be able to be harvested as well as there are a few of them that still have some blossoms on them so hopefully they're not actually done yet but oh and then the last thing I'm going to do now that I've got them pruned up here is I'm going to go get my tomato um, fertilizer and give everybody a good helping of that around the base of the plants to, to it's time to fertilize them anyways but also to kind of give them a little extra boost since I've just um, been hacking away at them and taken away a lot of their leaves thanks for joining me here today in Aunt Susan's garden hi again quick follow-up it's a couple few days later and I wanted to show you how things are looking it's been uh, we did get a little bit of rain but it's still been very hot and muggy so far things look good and I can now get in and see where I have tomatoes so I can harvest them so let me show you so you can see the plants so far seem to be doing well um, some of them are actually looking like they definitely benefited from having better airflow and getting things kind of uh, away from each other. Um, and I can now see where I've got some tomatoes that are ready. I did start working on the cherry tomato uh, section of the garden and got it sort of uh, deforested, so to speak, but I it got too hot and I had to stop before I got it completely thinned out like those over there. But I did get the plants kind of separated from each other and I added a wire across the top in a couple places so I could kind of drape some of the longer vines over top. And it, this also made it so much easier. I am working right now on harvesting from this space and as you can see, I've already been able to gather quite a few tomatoes. I've got a couple plants still to kind of look through, but uh, so far I'm very happy with how this is looking and um, think that this is gonna be really beneficial overall to my tomato plants. Thanks for joining me in Aunt Susan's garden. I wanted to show you how this area looks only about a month, five weeks after I did that major pruning to all of these tomato plants. They have put on a tremendous amount of additional growth. They have continued to produce tomatoes and I think it really helped them to be healthier. I know it helped take a lot of weight off of the vines, which has helped them, I think, um, last longer. So overall, great success and definitely was helpful to these tomato plants. Thanks for joining me.